All right. Yo, 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 mic test. All right, let's go. My heart's like pounding out of my chest right now. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Well, first things first, I kind of have bad news. So, um, Jay has an interview tomorrow. Um, it's like 30 minutes away, so he can't take me to the airport. And Dylan has school, so Dylan said he might be able to get out. Probably need to find like an Uber or something, but I looked at Ubers and they're like $100 from where I am. Are you kidding? Yeah. Wow. This is great. So, I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet. Ooh, I just wanna be with you right now. Yeah, well you gotta do the hard part to get here first. Yeah. I'm <laughs> I'm aware of that. Do you even want me to come? Are you literally kidding me right now? Yes! I just want to make sure that you want like me to come like really, really bad. Do you? Boo, I want to come so bad. Like you don't even understand how much I want to like be there. It's just such a hassle. Anyway. As I was saying. Boo. Just want to be with you right now. <clears throat> so, just wish I was here. We did it. Success. <laughs> mm, thank you so much. Yeah. I appreciate it. I love you. <laughs> love you too.
Alright, so yeah, just go up to the second floor. It'll be 34, and then it'll just be there. Make sure you close the lock to go on the way out, alright? my opinion, it's moments like these that make life so memorable. Moments that are created simply by just doing and not worrying about only having so much time. Yo, what the hell? Made it to Atlanta, baby. I have like an hour drive left, but I always love driving into the city because it looks so freaking pretty. And it's sunset time, so it's a beautiful time to drive into the city. So the drive is finally over, and I am here at AT&T with my friend Trevor. This is Nick's roommate. And we are about to drive over to where Nick is currently hibernating. And we are going to surprise him. And Nick thinks he's getting a telescope, apparently. Because yeah. Trevor's been texting him saying, Hey, bro, I got you a present. But you cannot come out of your room and you cannot look out your door and see what I'm getting you. So I'm going to be in the living room or yeah. something and surprise him. And somehow it's going to work out. And you guys will see how it plays out. But hopefully... Are you nervous that he's gonna have like a weird reaction or? I told him he's either gonna love it or he's gonna hate it. That's just legit what I told him. Yeah, he wouldn't hate it. But. I mean, it's not a telescope, but you're astronomical, so. Mmm, that's a good one. <laughs> but yeah, finally to the point of not driving in here, so we're in one piece, and I am honestly very tired. So let's do this. No. What time is it? It's time for you to come here. Uh, okay. I'll come here. 
I was watching chiropractor videos. Nothing Your birthday there. is tomorrow. My birthday is a few tomorrow. hours. In a few hours. A few hours. And so you told me the other day if there was anything you could have for your birthday, it would be one thing. Mm -hmm. And that one thing needs to like be there for your birthday. Mm -hmm. You should probably go open that door. <gasps> Good job. Happy birthday! <laughs>